Here are the 10 Tailwind Pro Tips that will make you a better developer. Number 1. Space X and Space Y When you need to create space between items that are side by side, or on top of each other like this, most people still use margins on them or make the parent element a flex container, then use gap. But there is a much shorter way, which is using SpaceX for creating horizontal gaps and using Space Y for vertical ones. These classes basically create margins for every single item inside this div to create space between them, and it's much faster. Number 2. Group Hover Did you know that you can create simultaneous hover effects, such as changing background color and text color at the same time on hover? By using group class name on the parent element and then using group hover classes on the children elements inside, you can combine hover effects like this one when you hover over this button, we change the background color and the text colors inside it. Number 3. Not class. Using the not class, you can style elements that don't match a certain class. Here, we have three buttons, but we only want to style the ones that are not the primary button. Instead of adding a class to each one, we use this smart utility class on the parent div. And this will apply a gray background only to the buttons that don't have the primary class. Using this will make your code super clean and avoids repetition. Number 4. Odd and Even You can easily style list items differently depending on their index using Odd and Even. This is especially useful for lists or tables to improve readability. In this example, we use Odd background white and Even background gray 200, so the background color of each list item alternates automatically. Number 5. Asterisk and Double Asterisk Tailwind supports targeting all child elements with using a asterisk and even more specific ones like strong. In this example, we use ampersand underscore asterisk text blue 600 to turn all child elements inside the div blue. And then we use ampersand underscore strong font bold to make the only strong element bold. This is very helpful when you're dealing with content that you cannot control directly, like markdown or CMS data. Number 6. Inert Attribute This one is really cool if you want to visually and interactively disable a part of your UI. You can use the inert attribute on an element and then style it with inert classes. In this example, we have a form with a few radio buttons and some of the sections are marked with the inert attribute. Then we add inert opacity 50 so they appear faded and non-interactive. It's super useful when disabling sections temporarily, like during a form step or a loading state. Number 7. Open Class Tailwind also supports the Open Class for Details elements. When the Details tag is toggled open, Tailwind can apply styles using the Open Class. Here we are using Open BG Blue 100, so that once you click and expand the details, the background changes color. It's a small trick, but it makes interactive elements feel much more alive and styled with minimal effort. Number 8. Right to left and left to right. Tailwind has built-in support for right to left and left to right text directions. If your app supports multiple languages, this can be helpful. You can just add direction right to left or direction left to right to any element and then control alignment using classes like text left and text right. In this example, you can see how right to left flips the content and tailwind styles like padding and borders still apply correctly. Number 9. Marker Did you know that you can style list bullets using marker class name? This means you can change the color, size and even font style of the bullets themselves. In this example, we are using marker text blue 500 and marker text x large to change its color and scale. Number 10. Selection Using the selection class name, you can style the highlight color when users select text. Here, we apply selection background rows 500 and selection text white. So when you highlight this paragraph, it uses our custom highlight colors so the selection is colored rows and the text is white. And those were the 10 Tailwind Pro Tips. I hope you find it helpful and enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.